guys, this is TNN and today we are going to have a look at the KNF Concept 2-in-1 Monopod and Tripod. So, this is an Amazon Prime product, so I've got this very quick. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now, it is so heavy, it is really quite heavy. And I even broke the box. As you can see, I broke the box. But I just fix it with a bit of glue anyway. So let's go ahead and grab the actual main carry case. So here it is, it comes with a carry case and a strap as well. So let's talk about the case first before we actually get into the product. So you can simply attach a strap like so. Literally like here. Quite a high quality plastic as well. And also the sewing that was done on here with the Velcro with the straps are also very high quality, none of the seams are coming off. We then have the padding part of the strap. And again, going along, we can also attach it onto this bit as well. Like so. So you can carry it around your shoulder, or you can just hold it like this. So again, we have sort of Velcro design here, so you put your strap like so. And then you can velcro strap it like this, carry it around. So it's sort of like a waterproof material all around. Very, very high quality material. All these seams are really high quality stitched. They're definitely not gonna peel off or rip off or anything like that. We've got this silver lining strip as well. Sort of like a luminous design. So it's a black and silver design all around. We've got the KNF Concept logo written on top in rubber. Again, really nice material all quite waterproof coated I would say quite high quality materials used in this device so we've got a zip going all the way along from here to along here open that up and I've put it all in one but it came with a pretty basic instruction manual when I say pretty basic it is really basic instruction manual of how to use the tripod how to take it apart and use it into a monopod so if you're new to this device it's Ow. I think I got a splinter from the wood floor. Anyway, if you're interested in this device, then you can always have a look at the instruction manual and find out how to use it. So this is the gold and black color. Let's go and take out the actual tripod itself. We also have some silicone gels inside to keep it rust free. And then we have a carry bag as well, a little small Small, really nice soft bag. Go and open that up. And we have an extender clip with a screw as well, so you can extend the actual stick for the monopod, so it's slightly bigger. Oh, so it's sort of like an attachment to the tripod. Go ahead and move this out of the way, and let's have a look at the actual tripod. So here's the actual tripod, and I know what you're thinking, what the hell is this, it doesn't look much like a tripod, well actually it folds up fully into this size, this is the smallest size it can be, and you have to open it up, so opening it up simple but actually you just open the first stick, there you go, then we open the next leg, so it has three legs, quite slippery on the floor, then we open the next leg so that's the legs done and then when you pull it up it locks into place now we have a small tab over here where you lift it up like that and then you can adjust the size of the leg so it's up here locks into place as well so ugh, it's really really tight so like so or you can just lock it in like that so we're going to lock all these four legs in like that and go ahead and talk for the bottom of the legs first. So we have these little spinny things as well. So what are these? Well, you can tighten it, loosen it and you can extend the legs into quite a, quite a height I have to say. Look at that, that is quite a big, big tripod would close it and it's really heavy as well it's such a heavy duty tripod it really i really have to say it is a very heavy duty tripod next one more leg 
Right. Oh, it's so hard to show you guys. I mean, it's not even fitting in the camera. It's so big. So that's the legs. Again, very high quality materials. Again, it's got this gold and black design. Got rubber grips on all of these, so it feels really nice and comfortable when you're using it. Very nice device, I have to say. Let's make sure all of the legs are tightened. On the top over here, if I can try and show you it, we have an Allen key. Now the tripod actually comes with an Allen key. I'm gonna go ahead and find it. I have no idea where I put it. Let me go ahead and find the Allen key. This is the Allen key. So the tripod comes with an Allen key, which you put into this place here. Untied is you can take the legs off, and then that's how you use this as a monopod, which is also known as a selfie stick. Now I'm gonna move this camera back so that you can actually see the main tripod itself. This is the actual tripod itself, and I have to say, it's quite a height. Even then, it doesn't fit into the camera. So this is at this smaller stage, and you can go and put it down, put it low. So let's go ahead and actually put it low. Let's bring it. Let's bring the our camera towards the tripod top a little bit more now. So we've gone through the bottom. Let's talk for the top. Now let me turn the lights on in my room so you guys can see. There you go. Hopefully that's better. You can see a little bit better. But we have the head over here. So we've got KNF concept written on this head and move it very, very smooth. Now you can sort the smoothness of this head by tightening this, loosening this. So if you tighten it, you can lock it in the place. But there you go, look, it won't move. Loosen it and the head will move. Then we also got obviously the measurements over here with the degrees and whatnot. So let me go ahead and show you a close up of that. You guys can see the measurements. So you can see the degrees that we are pointing at. Now if we go ahead and move to the top here, the next point we have is this slight circle bit over here. So if we unloose that, we can then manage the actual tripod head itself. So it actually comes with a ball point. So we can roll this whole head around lock it in place, we can do it all the way down like this, all the way up, very, very nice quality I have to say, and then we can tighten it back up again, like so. Next thing we have on this tripod, of course, we do have a level on top, so when you're moving with the ballpoint head, keep an eye on the level, make sure that it is leveled up to the middle, then we also got this part over here, so if you unloose this, we can simply take out the actual head itself. So this is the plate where you can actually tighten your camera on. So you can fit on here, tighten it on, rack it back on in, so easy. And then tighten it up so there's no clips or locking mechanism like that. It's literally just untie and tight. And it's so easy to use. And we've also got four grips on here as well. So it keeps your actual device scratch free as well. So let's go back down to the bottom of the device. I'm going to show you guys how to extend it, how to extend the tripod and how to make it smaller as well. Looking down along here of the tripod you can see we have another one of those turning points over here. I'll go ahead and unloose this and you can pull up the extender as well. So let's go ahead and show you this. You can extend the stick like so and then you can go ahead and tighten it back up again as well once you find the position you prefer. Now, we also got a strap here so you can hold the tripod. Now that strap is mainly for the monopod feature, which is of course the selfie stick sort of design. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to add on this extension. And you know what, I might actually try out the monopod feature, but it's gonna be so long because we have to take off all these hinges. So actually what, I'm not gonna show you how to do the monopod feature, but basically to get it into monopod, you have to t unscrew all these Allen key spots and then you take out the leg and then you take out the stick then you can unscrew the top of this add the extension to the bottom so I'm going to teach you how to add the extension and then you simply got another head to add your camera into a monopod feature as well so let's go ahead and actually teach you how to add the extension part so on the bottom of the tripod here is where the extension can fit so go ahead and grab your extension tube and the screw that it comes with 
go ahead and screw that in one side, any side, oops, one side, any side, doesn't matter, go ahead and screw it in, like so, then what you want to do is you put on this tab here, and then you unscrew this bottom, bottom part simply unscrews this, so it's quite hard to do it behind the camera, but simply unscrew the bottom part, like so, then you can add the extender on. So obviously when you do this, you're gonna take the legs out, take this whole pole compartment out as well. So these legs will come out, the whole pole compartment come out, and then it will just be this pole. Then you add the extender on, like so, and then you can fit the bottom part back on again. It is so simple, then you just fit the bottom part back on, and that's it. You've extended the pole for your monopod, and then you can use it for, uh, I don't know, selfies, taking shots on mountains, you put your hand up so high and take some shots as well. I'd say overall, I think this tripod is absolutely amazing. I mean, the head is so fluid, so smooth. You can adjust the ballpoint. It's so compatible. You can pack it up so easily. You can use that as a monopod. I mean, the monopod part is quite long. You have to take off all the screws, make sure you keep it in the bag that is provided. And it's so cool that it comes provided with a little mini bag and a carry case to carry everything on it. Only downside I really have with this product is that there is no like handle for doing panning. So you really have to use this small part over here to do panning or the head part over here to do panning. So it's really limited to like a handle. I wish they could add an extension, like another screwing hole where you could just screw in a stick and you can pan but they didn't do that, which is quite annoying. But other than that, it's a great, great tripod. I mean, it's really, really super high quality. So it's the KNF Concept KFTM2534 tripod. Very nice tripod. I, mean, I even like the colors. Black and gold just looks super amazing. All the build quality, all the materials, super high quality. And for the price, it's such a good tripod. I mean, I've seen tripods go for double, triple the price. Same tripods like this. So for the price, this tripod is absolutely amazing. And I'm going to go ahead and take some shots now and show you the fluidness of it, the head and all that. And overall score, I give 9 out of 10. It has to be 9 out of 10. I would give 10 out of 10 only if it had a handle to attach on to use for panning and for actual tripod use. But other than that, it's a great tripod, so overall score 10 out of 10. And as always, thanks for watching this video, and we're going to go ahead and show some shots taken with this tripod. Right guys, so we're going to do a pan shot of my studio. So it's quite messy actually, there used to be a bed here. And you can see over here, a bunch of Amazon boxes and stuff, you know, products for reviewing. And products I have bought to review for you guys. As you can see, the panning on this device is so so smooth it is super smooth now we can carry on going around my studio hopefully we'll get some more stuff we've got lighting over here and the tripod that i used to use but not anymore i'm going to start using this tripod because this tripod is so so amazing i mean the quality of the pans and the quality of the actual device so smooth so amazing so i'm going to go and do some more shots you guys can go in and check that out as well. So we're going to get some products from over there. I'm going to do some shots of it. I'm now using the ball on here. As you can see, we can do various angle shots. With the ball. Dead straight down. Bring it up. I would say the ball isn't really that smooth. But if you've got a steady hand, you can always edit it and smooth it as well. So this is the ball feature that we have on this tripod. You can do the whole 360 ball, ballpoint tripod. So that's pretty cool. And you can tighten it as well to the spot that you want it at. So I'm going to tighten it over here. Then we can pan it like so. Pan in this VR box of mine. And then we can also do some other tricks as well, so tipping it forward like that. Bringing it back, and because the legs have padding as well, it lands very nice and softly. It's not bang like that. It lands very nice and softly as well. So this is a tripod anyway, and 
overall score 10 out of 10 and as always thanks for watching this review